oh, before everybody starts getting really upset about the title, just hear me out. I really hope that they nerf aim assist when it comes to Modern Warfare 2. And before anybody says, oh, it's just another mouse and keyboard player complaining about aim assist. Well, uh, your boy's on controller right here. So, uh, yeah. And let's just say I haven't played controller or granite controller in a very, very, very long time. I've been on mouse and keyboard predominantly for the past three years, guys. Three years, okay? And you mostly start seeing how strong aim assist is. And when I say aim assist, I'm talking about the rotational aim assist. I don't think the actual like aim assist is really strong and by no means. I think it's just the rotational aim assist that is just stupidly broken. And I am sorry, I really can't give any controller player props. Now, that's not what I mean. I mean, I can't give them props when it comes to the aim assist if you know how to abuse it if you know how to use it i can really can't give you props because it's easy mode okay i'm not talking about an amazing play or amazing decision making that's completely separate i'm talking about just in the aspect of aim and how broken it is when it comes to aim assist and i like i said you could see in the background it's literally just me playing on controller and just mopping the floor like not even trying like not even trying man my movements off and i'm just so bad when it comes to controller but i'm able to make it work and if i put times and in, time into it i could probably be 10 times better than any mouse and keyboard player when it comes to the aspect of aim when it comes to the aspect of hitting my shots bullet magnetism and all that and i know exclusive ace has done a video on aim assist hasn't really gotten stronger over the past call of duties um yes i can agree with that in that fact but it has definitely feel stronger especially when you can take into consideration on pc you're getting 140 plus frame you have 240 hertz it just feels really good the latency is lower than on console and i personally think that they should do or go the Apex Legends route where if you're on PC, you get less aim assist than if you're on console. I think that would really help out. And I think they should, you know, copy Apex Legends when it comes to the aim assist. Cause I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, the aim assist on Apex Legends is there, but it's not nowhere near as strong as it is in Call of Duty right now. And I could say this without a fact that if you, the people that play on apex that play on controller that aim that you know outplay they are good players they are good players i give those players props if you play apex legends on controller on pc going against um was it lcs settings or whatever it is i can give you props for that because it is difficult i've tried it it is difficult it takes time to master your craft well that one guy i can't remember his name jen burton or whatever it is um, he is just absolutely crazy. If you try to copy his settings, it just doesn't work because he is nuts when it comes to controller on Apex Legends. And I, you know, tip my hat to that. But when it comes to Modern Warfare 2, I really do hope that the aim assist is toned down because it's going to be a problem. I'm going to be honest with you guys. If it's strong like it is in Warzone 1 or in Warzone 2 is just as strong, I'm going to be playing predominantly controller when it comes to a uh, war zone because it's just it's just so broken it's just so good it's, and it, it's not anybody's fault that plays controller i'm not saying that you know you need to play controller and if you play controller you're a scumbag no you play the input that is chosen that's given to you and when i say that it's strong it is strong it, it, it literally is there's no doubt about it it's the best input uh devs have you even said that you take the average mouse and keyboard player and the average controller player then you know the average controller player is definitely going to win because that is just that's just how it is it, it's so strong it's so easy and um if you are a controller player you should hate this too because it lowers the skill gap for you you shouldn't be like well just switch to you know a uh, controller no it shouldn't be like that it should be a skill gap it should be aiming is a fundamental skill that you need to learn and it's just handed to you when it's on controller so it lowers the skill gap and there has to be a skill gap it has to be fair for everyone and i don't want to see them totally destroy amos 
that's not what I'm saying. I want to see it in a balanced world where mouse and keyboard and controller can coexist, even though that's like a pipe dream where Amos just literally doesn't aim for you 24 seven. So that's my aim assist rant, guys. Tell me what you guys think about aim assist down in the comment section below. Uh, I'm curious to hear your thoughts and opinions. Um, I'm gonna be live streaming after this video goes up. We're gonna be playing on controller, some Rebirth Island. So come stop by. As always, guys, remember to stay blessed and humble, and I'll catch you in another video. Peace.